guys welcome back to the channel uh today i'm gonna cover uh what a paint inspector is and how you can get into doing it too uh if you're interested uh getting right into it a paint inspector is a quality a person that does quality control or quality assurance uh with paint projects and most people think of house painting or, you know painting their house is, you know, that's what paint is. Um, there's a lot of different variations of it, but the industrial paints, they, they're a bit more finicky. Uh, they require specific conditions like air temperature, humidity, uh, the dew point, all of that has to be, you know, in the right parameters for the paint project to happen. Um, if not, the paint project can be ruined from stuff like that. So that's where someone like myself comes in and we ensure that the project goes smoothly uh, as, as best as we can. Um, and we do that through, you know, scientific testing, uh, you know, monitoring, uh, in data collection while the project is going on. Um, it's a great career to get into. Um, my whole thing was I didn't want to go to, I didn't want to go to or commit to a four year uh, college, you know, degree with without even knowing what I'm going to do on the other end of it. Um, I just couldn't do it. So I, you know, was fortunate to have found you know found my calling but um, yeah I want to share it with uh, with you know all of you because I feel like there's got to be some of you out there that might find this stuff really interesting and you know you might might change your life like it did for me um, to get into it it's a five-day class and I know it sounds too good to be true many people do think that that's too good to be true, but it's it's very much real. I'm, you know, living proof of it. Um, I attempted college, but I, I dropped out. Um, went to the, it's called AMP, A-M-P-P. -P. <clears throat> Used to be called NACE, National Association of Corrosion Engineers. Uh, AMP is Association for Material Protection and Performance. Uh, it's SSPC and NACE combined uh, to create AMP. Uh, still the same, <clears throat> you know, they still offer the same programs and everything, so I'm, you know, happy about that. But the uh, AMP, they offer, basically go two routes with it. One is uh, paints and coatings, you know, corrosion, stuff like that. Uh, or you can go cathodic protection, which is to me just the most interesting stuff, but it's really, really challenging. Um, I'm a NACE or AMP uh, level three paint inspector and cathodic protection level one uh, certified tester. Um, there's three levels for the paint, four levels uh, for cathodic protection. and. I mean, the pay for cathodic protection, from what I've seen, it's like 400,000 up, you know, for, for level, uh, level three cathodic protection. So there's, there's serious money, you know, in this industry, even just working for somebody, uh, let alone owning your own business. But uh, keeping it short, the two different routes, uh, all of, each of them have a five day class and it's like, 2,700, 3,000, probably somewhere around there per class. Uh, you know, and you go for your level one, you don't need, you know, anything crazy. You don't need any experience. You can go into it not knowing anything like I did. And, you know, if, if you find it interesting, you know, maybe it's, maybe, maybe it's your thing. Uh, if you find it boring, then maybe it's not for you. Uh, 
starting pay is, you know, 28 upwards of 30, you know, probably 40, 45 an hour, depending on where you live. Uh, and then there's plenty of overtime, stuff like that. Uh, it's just, it's a great field to get into. So keeping it short, the website is ampp.org. Uh, there will be a link in the description. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, the uh, I'll probably put together another video walking you through that process. So we'll, we'll do that one next. But if, uh, if anything, you know, if you're interested in science, chemistry, uh, stuff like that, uh, electrical, uh, electrical works, uh, electrical systems, stuff like that, uh, you'll find, you know, coatings and cathodic protection just really, really interesting. And they're well-paying jobs. Uh, and we're in desperate need of more of us. Uh, I'm one of the younger, you know, people that do this. Uh, I've interviewed a bunch of guys, you know, in their, uh, you know, in, in their 60s, but there isn't, there isn't too many young guys doing this. So that's the purpose of this video. Uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one.